Once again, this is Moses Price coming to you from West Hartford, Connecticut, where today Park Road is having a parade. It's the 15th anniversary of this parade. You're going to see a variety of things. This is a very unique parade. It's not the same old, same old type of scenario. We've got clowns. We've got uh, stilt walkers. We have cars. We have 10, or maybe, excuse me, I'm a liar, 11 bands, fife and drum corps bands, high school bands. We have the University of Hartford. Brazilian Samba band that'll be presenting itself for the first time. And the Ferrari cars, the 125 pugs from, from the Corner Pug restaurant celebrating what they do. And everything you can possibly imagine, what you even can't imagine, it will be surprised by. We've been playing for about 20 years here in central Connecticut. And there have been fife and drum corps here, which is what we do. There have been fife and drum corps here for a couple of hundred years. And we're part of that tradition. We pretty much all started to play in local drum corps as little kids, and we've had our own group going on for a long time. Alabama. I grew up here in Elmwood. I think it's phenomenal. It's great to come home and see something like this. It's a great parade. I've been to every one they've ever had. The Park Road Business Association sponsors the parade and is funded by private contributions, businesses in the area that want to support what we do to make life better for everybody. Why wouldn't you want to have a good time? Why wouldn't you want to bring your family down here? Why wouldn't you want to bring your grandchildren to see the clowns? Why wouldn't you want to bring your relatives that are in town from out of town to show you what we do in West Hartford for everybody? Marcella Fahey, I'm a former state senator. I'm new in West Hartford and here to enjoy the day. What was I doing in the Senate? Well, the first year I learned my way around. The second time around I chaired the Appropriations Committee and I was trying to put money into the places we needed it and not put it into the places that were already full of money and not doing the job they were supposed to do, or at least in my opinion. I've not ever gotten out of politics in a way because I've always been involved with the local people. I've been involved with Obama last time around and I was involved with Dan Malloy, but to do it myself, I don't think I'm going to do it again. I think I've got other things in my life and uh, interesting things to do. And I just got finished doing a baseball game in every stadium in the country. And I got to see the whole country that way. I got to visit every city, talk to people, find out where the best restaurants were. People are very enthusiastic about their sport, whatever it is. And it was a wonderful way to see the country. And I recommend it to anybody to get a hold of their team, whatever it is, and go around the country. I'll never do football because it's too cold in the wintertime, but I really love baseball. <laughs> I am here to enjoy the community of my neighborhood, and I'm never disappointed.
This, this is the Heartbeat Dixieland Jazz Band from Connecticut, and we've been playing this parade for several years. We're happy to be here again. And uh, what type of music that you, is this all Dixieland? We, generally, that's our, that's our, our strong point, but we'll, we'll try a little bit of everything, whatever the audience wants to hear. And how long you, how long you guys been in, uh, together? Well, the last eight measures sounded pretty good, you know, but uh, it's probably about 10 years now. We've, and where do you play? Do you play at many places? No, we do a lunchtime job on Wednesdays at the Yankee Clipper in Niantic, but other than that, we just show up wherever people ask us to play. The parade is now over. This was the 15th anniversary of the Park Road Parade. I hope you had a good time like I did. Remember, I'll see you back in the future at other festivities like this. Remember to watch MosesPrice.com.